Welcome back to Q13 News. So you may have noticed we're wearing pink this morning. And yes, it's a fashion choice, but it's also something much more important. It's part of a campaign called Real Men Wear Pink. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And that uh, begins in October. And this morning, we're joined by Holly Moore, the American Cancer Society, and Scott Thompson, the Director of Communications for Seattle City Light, and also a Real Men Wear Pink candidate. So good morning to you both. Great to have you here today. Great to and, be here. And Holly, Let's start with you. So, so what is Real Men Wear Pink and why is this necessary? Yeah, so Real Men Wear Pink is a fundraising campaign, an individual fundraising campaign. And so every candidate pledges to raise $2,500, wear pink every single day in October, and reach out to their network to raise awareness. It's just such a pervasive problem. So many families have stories about cancer, breast cancer in particular, but cancer in general. Talk about where this money could go and, and who could help. Yeah, so this money goes towards our breast cancer initiatives and breast cancer research specifically. And it also goes towards our Reach to Recovery program, which provides one-on-one -on -one peer to peer breast cancer survivor mentorship. And I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm a cancer survivor myself, and, and one of the things that I find really encouraging is that the technology and the research um, has come so far, um, really in, in just a short amount of time. You know, I, I beat my cancer, thank God, 10 years ago, and since then there have been great breakthroughs, and that's really encouraging too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The American Cancer Society has contributed to a 27% decline in cancer death rates. So that is phenomenal. Yeah. Scott, you were telling us um, about a very personal connection, uh, an unfortunate one that you have with cancer as well. Yeah, my uh, family has been affected by cancer significantly. Uh, I lost my father last summer after 22 years with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So he, went through, he went through four rounds of that. Uh, my mother is a cancer survivor. She's been through two different forms of breast cancer. Um, and my stepson also is a breast cancer survivor. So Real Men Wear Pink is a very personal thing for me. You are clearly making the choice to do this. Why, why, what would you be, you, you know, the folks at home are thinking about, yeah, I could do this. What would you say to somebody at home who's like? Uh, say yes, uh, very, very easily get in and do this. This is a way that you can really make a significant difference on a disease that affects thousands of people every single year. And in my own uh, situation, I've seen the advances that have taken place as a result of the research that's gotten done. Uh, I considered that I got 22 years of bonus time with my father, and I'm in about 20 years of bonus time with my mom right now, and that's still going. And that wouldn't happen if not for the advances in the treatment and the medications and, and the support services that are in place through the American Cancer Society. That's an excellent point. So how are you going to raise the money? Well, I'm on the way, uh, and so I've been reaching out to my contacts and letting them know about it. We had our kickoff event last uh, last week and uh, looking forward to some additional support and thank you all for giving a little plug to it today. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> it's so great to have you. Holly and Scott, thanks for joining us this morning and you can learn more by visiting realmenwearpinkacs.org/seattlewalk because that's get what your we pink are. on. Yeah, get your pink on. <laughs>